Hey everybody, welcome to Hilltop Machine Works. Well hey guys, it's Tom here and uh, today's the day we're going to uh, fire up the shaper and make some chips. So, pretty exciting. Um, first off, I wanted to let you guys know, um, I picked up this... Uh, basically a shaper workbook or if you were taking a class on learning the shaper this would probably be a textbook it's an awesome book it was uh, put out in the 40s by the University of the State of North Carolina State Education Department Bureau of Industrial and Technical Education so um, if you have a shaper think about picking one of these books up it's got a bunch of great information in on it. Um, if you're thinking about getting a shaper, you know, you want to pick this book up also. Um, I did not have a shaper in either my high school machine shop class or in my um, college machine shop class, so I kind of had to uh, you know, learn from you guys on the internet and, uh, you know, I learned a little bit with the little Atlas shaper, which I sold. So, um, you know, this book has been invaluable. Been uh, learning the controls and just getting comfortable with this thing because it's uh, obviously um, way bigger, a lot more horsepower, and, uh, you know, a serious machine compared to the little Atlas. Not that the Atlas can't hurt you, but, you know, this thing can uh, do a lot more damage if uh, you don't know what you're doing, either to yourself or to the machine. And um, just got a tool bit in here I uh, just finished grinding it up it's a half inch by half inch piece of high-speed steel and uh, just one of the pages out of the book I don't know if you can see it very well or not but um, yeah it shows all the angles for grinding different bits whether it be steel cast iron brass you know whether you're using it as a shear um, a roughing or a finishing tool so like I said this book is pretty killer you can download the PDF. Um, it's like 326 pages, so <laughs> when you go to uh, Kinko's or uh, the UPS store, expect to spend some money. It's going to be like 60 bucks to get it printed and a uh, binder put on it, but uh, well worth the money. So um, I just had the shaper running a little while ago, got the oil circulating, and um, I was just checking the vise to make sure we are flat and right with the world. So let me turn you guys around and um, show you what we're working with. All right, let's try this. Hopefully you can see the indicator. Just a smidge uh, under zero. So we are looking good. And I've got this uh, big hunk of 1018, so uh, let me clean some of this gunk and tape off of it, and uh, we'll get this thing chucked up, and we'll get some chips made, what do you say? Alright, I got the stock in, uh, I got the height about adjusted the way I need it, let's get the uh, tool post height zeroed in. Got the ram adjusted, right length. take it easy since this is the first uh, cut with me in the machine. Um, do uh, I guess maybe about 15 thou down feed and about uh, 20 thou step over. That's just the, uh, the shortest the machine will do. Uh 
Uh, wrong way. <laughs> Still trying to learn this thing. Sorry about my head. Didn't it? All right, I uh, <laughs> took it up another five, so we're only going to take ten off to be on the safe side. Got it locked, so give her a shot. And I hope I got this uh, bit ground properly. Yeah, the tool's dragging. I guess I need to probably turn the clapper box a little bit. She is making chips, it's exciting. Let me move you guys in a little bit closer. She's on the tripod right now, but. Said, this is a learning curve for me, so leave the comments down below and give me some suggestions. I'll show you the screw, but it's advancing 20 thou after each pass. I just sped it up. Now we're running uh, 16 strokes per minute.
Bass is rough, obviously. I work on the, uh, the grind of the bit, plus it's 1018. And uh, the tool is dragging a little bit on the way back because I have it straight up and don't have the clapper box turned. But uh, anyways, that is exciting. Our first chips. Sweet. Let's get her up. Uh. So I still got to fix the uh, original wrench. It's still <laughs> shaped like a banana. That's still on the to-do list. Maybe I'll get a chance to heat it up today and straighten this thing out. But, uh, well, there you go. Our first shaper job. That's cool. I'm excited. That was fun, too. <laughs> so, nice. So, uh, appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you uh, are excited as I am. I'm tickled. <laughs> it, uh, it's fun. It's been a... Uh, I'm not going to say a long journey, but, you know, we've been working on this now for several weeks. And um, we finally got our first chips. So, yay. And, you know, plus I had to buy the machine kind of uh, not really sight unseen, but I didn't get a chance to run it. So that was one of my concerns is there was going to be some issues. But as you uh, saw, it worked just flawlessly. So that is good. We have a awesome 16-inch industrial g &E shaper for the shop hey thanks for watching thanks for subscribing if you hadn't subscribed hit that subscribe button down there and uh stay tuned for uh future videos involving the shaper <laughs> take care guys